lovelies. So today I ate more food in one day than I did the entire week. I have no idea why. I just cannot stop eating. Uh, what was I going to talk about today? Oh, I started watching St. Vincent. Legally. Uh, I went to see it in the movie theater. And the very beginning is like so hard to get past. Like, mm, so gross. I know it gets like better and cute, but it's so yucky in the beginning. I don't know. Um, so things are going to be hectic soon. My sister-in-law is coming to visit Friday. And then Thanksgiving actually is not a big holiday for us, so um, that's not a big deal. But then December 1st-ish, we're leaving for Florida. And um, funny thing is, things will not really change. Um, Lori asked me on my giveaway video, and I guess I'm just going to answer this in this video, but she asked me what my room looked like in Florida. And it actually looks almost exactly the same. It's kind of, um, I have a lot of difficulty with change. So my room, if you, well, this year I was, I was there January, February, March, maybe April, but definitely to the end of March. If you go to any of those videos, those are filmed in Florida. But it looks exactly the same. I even have the same quilt on my bed. I have a little bit different bed. It doesn't have the like soft padding, but it's gray and I have purple walls and I have a string of white lights. It's really bad. It's kind of embarrassing, but it's just like part of, it's very stressful leaving all my friends and everything that I'm like so safe and you know, I'm leaving my nest, my nest of like heating pads and fleeces and junk. And, um, but I love my room down there cause it just feel I just unpack and then it feels like my room so um, yeah I, I got the same almost the same furniture I got from the same place <laughs> um, so yeah it looks exactly the same I thought maybe I'd explain that before I get down there because people are gonna be like um I thought Emily said that she was going to Florida but yet it looks like she's in the exact same location but uh, nope it just looks the same so, um, yeah, I'm a little bit stressed and my anxiety is pretty high. I have to go to the doctors the last week in November, two appointments in one week, which is very stressful because there's things I need. And then when I go to Florida, I have to find doctors, which I've talked to you guys about already. So, um, but it is so cool to be able to send presents to friends here and then, have them videotape them like that's like one of those cool things about like YouTube friends is like th they videotape the reaction like I sent something to Lori and I sent something to um, Leanne and uh, Leanne's away right now but uh, Lori posted the pic posted the video and it made me cry it's just so cool to see the reaction and like how much it means to someone because you never know like it could just be like, oh, cool, some nail polish and lip gloss. Or it could be like what I wanted it to be, which is like to brighten her day and to just like send her a little fun thing, just showing how much I appreciate her and her friendship and how much she means to me and things like that. So it's really super cool. And um, I know I did an unboxing of Leanne's video, and I actually sent her the entire video unedited because... I get like real crazy like I love little she sent me all these little tiny presents and I love stuff like that so I mean I would love if you sent me a box of like lip glosses and lipsticks and stuff like I would freak out I get really really excited by like you could send me like a vanilla lip smacker and I would think it was the best thing ever and my friends are always like you are the easiest person to get a gift for because I love anything so 
it's just kind of cool. Like, it's just something that I didn't expect to come from this project, my life with chronic pain. And it was just one of those happy surprises that came out of it that I was going to meet brand new people, you know, that were strangers to me. And then they become my friends. And um, that's really special to a sick person that, you know, is in bed most of the time. And I have very busy friends, you know not to discredit them or anything, but they're healthy. So like I'd be doing the same thing, you know, and they work their butts off and they're busy and they have husbands and lives and Lindsay's almost done with her master's program. Like, I mean, they've got, they are very driven people. Monica works crazy hours and is waking up early anyways. And she's doing so much stuff. So it's kind of nice to have you know, people that at 3 a.m. I can just text them and be like, I feel like crap. Are you awake? <laughs> and for them to be like, yeah. I mean, like, Lindsay's going to bed at like 9 because she has to wake up at 4 o'clock in the morning to, you know, go to her classes or go to the clinic or whatever she has to be doing for a master's program. So um, it's just really special that that's, like, really come out of this because I, I honestly – I mean, I didn't have many, oh, I didn't have really any expectations, but I did think that my friends were going to watch my videos, and that was really going to be it, and that maybe a few of my videos some other people would watch, like, if they were looking for, like, my Lyrica and Neurontin video, like, I thought people would watch that, that weren't my friends, but other than that, I just, no, and, um... <laughs> So it's kind of cool that I've made these connections and they weren't necessarily because of being sick, you know, like the unboxings and the subscription boxes, they came along just because I really liked watching people do them and then I ended up doing them and watching people that did and finding out like, oh, you're sick too, like you have Addison's and you have this and oh, you're dealing with these life struggles and um, so that's been like, that's been really cool and interesting and um, to be a part of people's lives that are all over the country and um, you know I was just texting Diane the other day because she um, well I don't know if she wants me to talk about it but um, I mean it's nothing like bad but I just don't know if she, if she wants to talk about it but it was something that I want for Christmas and um, I just sent her to you know a text message saying like what was it again because she's told me like three times I've asked her a bunch of times and she posts about it on Facebook all the time but I wanted to put it on my Christmas list before I sent it to my parents um, and because uh, they really, really would think it would be fun to do um, in Florida and uh, so I was just like texting her and um, you know, we just chit chat back and forth and you know, it's just been so cool and um, you know, friends have come and gone over the year and I still wonder how everybody is but I think that even the people that have come and gone, like, I think that they have a stronger confidence in who they are, um, when they left, and, um, it's not easy, like, this is, this is not easy, like, I can't, I can't imagine being healthy and doing this and actually, like, editing it and making it, like, super cute, like, I cannot imagine doing that because, I know it takes me weeks to do my actual edited nice videos um, while I'm daily vlogging. So I don't know. That's just been really crazy. But um, the night before last, I went out. And then last night, I was really sick from um, just doing a lot of stuff. But you kind of just like, it was it was worth it even though it really, really sucks, and I was up all night, um, just feeling really ill, I just, like, my heart was so full that the physical stuff was like, yeah, this sucks, and I'm just gonna deal with it, but my heart and my head were in the right place, because I just had my fill with all my, like, amazing friends, and minus Lindsay, which sucked, but, um, I'll get my fill of her, hopefully, but the one sad thing is my birthday is December 24th. So um, going to Florida really does suck because I don't get to see my friends um, 
you know, around my Christmas. And nobody buys Christmas presents as early as I do. So, um, but it is fun, like, sending them to each other and stuff. And, um, but hopefully I'll get to go out to eat with them before I leave. But you never know. But I'm really, really, really hoping that I get to have, like, a fake birthday <laughs> dinner um we go to one of my favorite restaurants i've taken you guys there on a vlog once but it's my absolute favorite to go to for my birthday and um it's like my birthday present my dad my parent well, i don't know why i just said my dad my parents um take my friends and i out to eat and it's just so much fun and i just love it so hope that i get to do it and i hope that alicia and monica and Lens can all come. Um, I hope they don't kill themselves trying to come. Because um, I know they're so busy. But, uh, yeah. So, that's just, like, what's going on right now. I'm a little bit stressed. So, uh, probably my content is going to be, like, going downhill a little bit. But it probably is going to be a little bit rejuvenated um, when I get to Florida. And hopefully I'll meet Leanne. We both can get over our social anxiety so we can interact with each other and we can do some videos together, which I'm really, really excited about. And she can help me edit some, learn some, learn some techniques and stuff. So, um, yeah. So, I hope you guys have a pain free, stress free day. And I'm sending you lots of love and X doubles. And as always, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.